Hello and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be working on the second pack from the, the uh, Fan Home Batmobile. And this pack you can see here, most of it is going to be the first of the four tires. Let me go ahead and get the book open. And if, in case you don't realize this, I do pre-fold it just so it's really easy to get it open. And you can see, without me even opening the bubble pack, you got the tire three-piece rim, you got the, um, got the, what is it they call that, the bat radar or something like that. Let me go ahead and open this up, open the book up, looks like it's another bubble pack, which is good because there are parts in here that I probably want to, will want to store in here so that they don't get bent or broken over the last three or over the next three years. And I say three years because the usually the subscription is for two years. However, I'm a realist. Here lately, every build has been delayed for something. So I'm saying probably three years, which means I'll probably finish this this kit after I retire. So let me set that aside. And the first thing, like I said, the first thing we do is we assemble the wheel. We take the tire out and I have a red, wow. This is, I've read, I've watched, this is not your normal vinyl tire. This thing is solid. So that what that probably means is that most of the kits, most of the uh, vehicle kits, come with little stands that you put underneath them so that you don't develop flat spots on the tires. These will probably not develop flat spots. I'm just looking. Supersport. And, okay, they say the same thing on either side, so it doesn't matter which side you put out. You take tire, insert, insert the outer wheel, which doesn't want to come out. Insert the outer wheel here, come on, which is metal. Is it magnetic? It is not magnetic. But this is metal. And you, whoops, I grabbed the wrong one apparently. So this must be, the chrome must be the outer wheel. For some reason, I thought the black was the outer wheel. The chrome is just your regular plastic. So you put that in there. And then you turn it over. You put this, which is also a metal piece, in here lining up the screws, or the, the screw holes with the, the chrome piece. Let's see, we've got CP and EP screws. Here's the EP. I have the AM screws from the last pack sitting here still. So we're going to take five CP screws. And since they're P, they're going into plastic. I'll put the CP over there. I still got to get a uh, screw box together for this one. We're just going to put the screws through the metal piece into the plastic rim. We're going to go ahead and get all five of them started before I tighten them all the way down. It's kind of funny. My screws more and more are starting to dance around holes, not sticking as well to the end of the screwdriver, which tells me it's time to remagnet, remagnetize screwdriver. There's number three. Third one in here. Actually, I lied. That's number four. And here is number five. I'm going to tighten this one all the way down. 
and then I'm just going to continue on tightening the rest of the way. So there you can see all the screws are all the way in and there's the tire. We turn this over and the next thing it has you do is take this bat symbol, which uh, it's plastic. I was hoping you're going to take the bat symbol along with this piece of chrome piece here. There's a hole there and on the symbol, push it together. And then it eventually will sit in here. Very odd to me. I could have sworn that everybody else. Let's see, sir. Every video I've seen. This goes on first. Oh, uh, you know why? It's because they already had it in place. So I'm a dork. Let me go ahead and take this back off. This outer, this outer piece here. And hopefully I don't end up with any strip screws because or strip plastic because of this. Because I I look at pictures. And if it doesn't show me the uh, part going in, I don't realize that it's supposed to be there. So what I was supposed to do is take this metal piece here and fit it down over top of these piece, this piece. And I'm just looking at this. Um, I'm sitting here, I'm kind of wondering why they didn't just take it, make it as a single piece. Because that first black piece that you put in, you never see. Oops. Oh, I've got two screws now. First black piece just goes inside the chrome piece. It does not, it, I guess it gives you structural support or structural strength to the chrome piece. Unless you're an idiot like some people and you don't put that the uh, structural support piece in. I won't name the idiot that wouldn't do that. So. Get these five screws back in. And then we'll actually be where we're supposed to be. Good weight to this tire, by the way, especially after you add two pieces, two rings of metal inside of it. I know you're not supposed to put the um, bat symbol, actually attach it to the wheel. Not yet. You can actually, if you feel like it, Sure. So those are all on there. I'm not going to do it because I'm, I don't want to have to push this out, but you could actually push this down inside. Actually, never mind. It does fit pretty well down inside. You, like I was going to say, you could push it all the way in. I think it would probably fit in that inner ring inside the black portion. See, just be just for giggles. It 
does not quite grab. But if it if it grabs, if you put it in there and it grabs tightly to where you can't get it back out, it's, it's going to be a simple case of, because you haven't done anything on this side, take your screwdriver and poke it from the other side. Pop it back out. So the next thing we have to do is we got to get the antenna here. And pull this out. I want you to extend it all the way. And then you've got this little cap piece. And the antenna itself, which is, I'm pretty sure it's very, very fragile. It's not even photo etch. I actually did that. Actually, it is photo etch, but I do like the fact that they did turn the photo etch piece themselves for you because the photo etch would have come out flat. What they did, some of them are. 100 or 90 degrees, some of them are not. That one's a little bit slanted. That one is, that one is almost perfect 90 degrees. But they turned them for you. Do not flatten it back out, you'll break the photo etch. So what you do, once you're done playing with that, going, ooh, ah, that's so cool. Let's see, making sure I put this in the wrong way. I put it in the wrong way first because it, I, that's just me. It comes in from the top like this. And you're gonna take two of the EP screws here. Just the two. And I'm guessing that they actually thread into the plastic housing. because It feels like the antenna itself should be metal. going to feed them in here. I'm going to I'm going to put them into the housing first just a hair. And there's oops, holes in here in the antenna itself. Let me see. Is that Yeah, see that's that is going to just not really thread in there that's just going to hold in place as the screw goes into it. So I'm going to put this back in here and I'm going to see what I can do to line it up. It looks like if it's flush then it should be lined up. It's a little bit fiddly to do. Key thing is you do not want to be pinching the antenna or put you don't want to be scarring it up it's an interesting way that they did this I'm still not going in there let me go ahead and put this screw a little bit through here I'm looking it's still not poking through Slide this on here. That's too far in. What I'm going to do, just to make this a little bit easier, if I have one that'll fit, I do. So what I'm going to do, actually, will that fit through? No, it won't. Oh, I have a paper clip. And I'm going to put this paper clip in here after I peel the glue because this is how I clean off my um my white glue bottles, the tips. I'm going to slide this in here. And now it's lined up inside the uh, antenna assembly. So that should let the screw 
go into it correctly. Let me get, see if I can get that straight. This should be close. It's not in there. So let's go from the other side. Let me pause the video real quick because I want to see what my wife texted me. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I actually put these screws in while, got them in there while I was off camera. Let's see, is that, yeah, let me back that one out a little bit maybe, and see if I can get it better in there. I realized, too, what this is for. Yeah, that's better. If I back that out, that one should go in a little bit better. So a little bit better centered. What this is for, what these screws are for, you know, um, among other things is to keep this from coming out. But the reason it has to go into there is so that when you collapse the antenna, it actually stops you from shoving it out the bottom. And the antenna, I believe, is actually plastic. So what they want you to do then is to put the or the boom is plastic, the antenna itself, like I said, is photo etch. You want to, they want you to put that on there, the antenna on there, and then they want you to put this cap up on the top. I'm going to do what I've seen other people do, which is put this cap on just to, so that you have a place to keep it. I can probably put it where the, I'm going to put the antenna as well. And then let me grab one real quick. I didn't, don't yet have a screw box for this build, but now I do. And what I usually do is somewhere in the screw boxes, I have tiny, fragile parts. And you can see that will fit in there and be just fine. Will be. And the bat symbol fits in there. So now I have two places to store these parts so that they don't get damaged. I can slide this down for storage and keep keep the parts that we get at the beginning, that the iconic parts safe for the next couple of years while the build is going on. And make sure there's nothing left to do in here. Nope, there is not. So I hope you're enjoying the content. I'm having a good time uh, putting it together. I appreciate you stopping by and uh, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified of any time I post new videos. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook Discord and YouTube. Links will be in the description. See what we're doing. We do Friday night streams. We do Sunday afternoon streams. And we have six people building the perfect grade Bandai Millennium Falcon on a Sunday. Or on a, sorry, on a Wednesday stream. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you in the next video.